it, it, it really, it's, the thing I remember the most is in the Appalachian Mountains, when you look at the green and you just kind of look out at it, it's just really beautiful. And those are all leafy trees and they're like, you know, oaks and, mm-hmm. and all these kind of things. But in China, it was the same thing. But then when you looked closer, you're like, oh, all that's bamboo. Like, that's just like a mountain full of bamboo over there. Oh, so like when we're at the um, the Appalachian Mountains. Like if just one of the mountains just was all... All bamboo? All bamboo, wow. yeah. Wow, does it have like a different soundscape to it? Yeah, I was I was a college student. I wasn't <laughs> thinking about soundscapes. <laughs> You weren't, you weren't like sitting there trying to be like, oh, what is the, the sound of the rustling of the bamboo leaves? Right. I should have, in hindsight, obviously. But at that's the moment, I, I don't think that I can remember. That's that's so cool. Did Well, do you remember if there were a lot of like animal noises at those kinds of places? Oh, yeah. Well, that was near, that was near a, um, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Like uh, birds or monkeys? Oh, I heard a lot of monkeys. Monkeys, monkeys, the, the macaques that they have over there are just so, it just echoes through the forest. It's really cool. Oh, I love that. One day, one day, darling, I want to go. Will you take me? Yeah. I want to go. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. That is a rose bush. So we'll kind of tuck that over here next to where they have their little like scent thing. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, ooh, actually, that's ooh, fountain oh, that's bamboo. Really yeah, here we'll mix it up a little. There we go. A couple of rose bushes that kind of matches their feathering. I'm gonna mm-hmm. remove these actually, so people can see them. A little I was just clearer. thinking about that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Put it on the sides. Oh, hydrangea. Maybe put maybe put a hydrangea or something in the middle, like just like an accent piece or something. Yeah, that's that's really lovely. All right, here hydrangea. Oh, the hydrangea. Aha! I know what's going on. Uh-huh. Oh wait, aligned to surf. Oh. Oh my. There we go. Because I was gonna make like a mega hydrangea. Oh wow! You see, you can kind of you can kind of wiggle it and pretend, and then you can use smaller ones to kind of fill it in, and just pretend it's like one gigantic hydrangea bush. The cranes seem to like them. They do. They're running around it a little bit, and then I think I might put in like a piece of fountain bamboo as a compliment. You could uh, see you could spend all day landscaping. Oh, you do it. all day. I'm sure there's people who oh play gosh. this game that literally just do the landscaping. How did you know? <gasps> Oh man, darling! I was gonna say those are really small for <laughs> giant tortoises. Those are just those <laughs> they're are just really babies. <laughs> Do you remember when we were at the San Diego Zoo and they told us how the first uh, Galapagos tortoises to ever come to the zoo came in somebody's coat pocket? Yep. They brought the the old and if that was the one they sent back to the Galapagos. I think so. Yeah. To to try to save the species and his his genes ended up saving the species, um, but they they brought him in a coat pocket because he was so tiny. I love tortoises. I think they're one of my favorite animals. This is oh. This I think are... it would make a fantastic not not a. A, a giant Galapagos <laughs> giant tortoise wouldn't make a great pet, but I'm allergic to everything. So like, I've always thought tortoises would be really fun to have. I, well, we just well we have enough nieces and nephews now. That's true. We you might. Need, you gotta have a contingency plan. <laughs> we might be able to make that work. Um, okay, and so they're actually completely happy because we have sprinklers. They're chill. They don't care. They just really want us to get some. Oh, I wonder does the dog ball count? The dog ball counts as a food enrichment. All right, they're going to chase that little ball around. I really want to see that happen, and we're going to put another one up the front. But look at that. That's They're moving way more than they <laughs> ought to be moving. Well, they're little. Maybe they're like, I've got to really work to get my food. What do you want to name this one? You, Ooh, that's a good question. You've always wanted to name a tortoise Speedy. But do you really? When push comes to shove. It's not funny when they're actually running really quickly. <laughs> You'd have to pick, like, the slowest one who's just, like, lazy all day long and won't even, like, get up to eat. Well, that guy's got somewhere to go. Yeah. He's got places to be. And then here's a, a female. So that in one day in, like, 20 years, we might get some eggs. Oh, yeah. How long does it take for them to reach sexual maturity? That's a good question for Galapagos tortoises. Let's see. Um, I thought 22. I said, I read 100 years first. I was like, oh, I was like, oh geez. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> 22 years. I, I was like, oh, that's going to be a bit of a problem, isn't it? Oh, look at how happy our crane is, darling. Oh, yeah. They this like their is... tortoise buddies. 
We're flamingoing it. I was going to say they're flamingos with extra steps. They are. If oh, you put shrimp that. in those pools, I bet you they'd be indistinguishable. <laughs> what is their diet? That's actually a great question. Let's check out their diet. Uh, all right. So if I wiggle over here, social needs, no, 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 uh, natural habitat. Let's see. Vulnerable species. Mm -hmm. Um. Is it reproduction? There's a lot about how they mate. Uh -huh. Because they do that really fascinating dance. Oh, One yeah. One day you and I are going to see that in person. It sounds like Japan is the best bet for that. Um, yeah, they're residents there. So right now they're eating rice and larvae and amphibians. Hmm. The fun fact number one, red cranes have cultural significance in Chinese, Japanese, and Korean myths attributed with virtues like loyalty, purity, strength, and peace. Are you familiar with any of the... I know from Japan and Korea a little bit. Well, a pair of cranes is always because they're monogamous. Oh. That's, you, you, they're seen. So, so if you see, so sometimes in poetry, if you have a single, I'm not sure at the moment if it's. I'm thinking about cranes or other things, but typically a solitary bird that's typically monogamous can express like sorrow, sorrow and regret at being alone Aww. on particular days. But then, if you have two, is it like, uh, like the way that sometimes people use white doves? in western culture yeah. to be like oh that's you know like a wedding motif yeah 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 our little guy made it by the way he's so small <laughs> Do you want to tell you him? it's like real oh i know let's name him tiny again he is small it's not ironic but it's gonna get ironic it's a joke that has payoff that's true <laughs> Oh, no, no, Tomu. Tomu, Tomu, stick with Tomu. <laughs> I just, I wasn't looking. Okay. Tomu's good. Tomu, oh my gosh, that's actually kind of cute. Tomu the tortoise. <laughs> Tomu the tortoise. Um, and then look at her. I'm going to, thanks, Crane. I'm going to name this one. Um, let's see, what am I going to name her? I'm going to name her Pansy. Why that's not? That's pretty cute. It's cute. I'm really happy with how this has all turned out. Did we out. get them a hard shelter? Uh, we did not. I do need to give that to them because it will help them out. Look at our cranes swimming. They seem to be adjusting quite well to their habitat. Uh, also, let me check on the finances because I don't think we have... Do we have people coming in for that? Well, look at that. But are they currently actively... Oh my gosh. See? No, look what's happening. Oh, they see the price and they're like, nah, I'm out of here. Yeah, look how many people are leaving. <laughs> Darling, I, I appreciate your optimism, but we're going to turn it down to like, how about we do seven bucks? Look, and now everybody's like, all right, all right, all right. How about 30 bucks and kids get in free? There you go. Hmm. No, now, kidding. that this would work like in real life. I don't know about that one. You'd have a lot of older people dressed up as kids to try to get in free if it was 30 <laughs> bucks to get into the zoo. Or you'd have like one parent who like drew the short straw and has like 12 or 14 children with them all at once. Oh, yeah. Oh dear. All right, so let's see what else is happening. <gasps> it's up here, darling! Oh, man. Oh my gosh! And speckled caiman who are not going in with mm -mm. The, the other animals. And mm -mm. then we have the lemurs. I'm a little cautious about adding in the lemurs, but I think we need to. They would immediately escape from that exhibit the way it's put up. Yeah. Can I put... Okay, you can put climb-proof barriers on it. Wait, well, how does that work? So what you do is you do this, uh -huh. and then you come up... And you hit like climb proof barrier, uh -huh. and it makes a little metal thing, uh -huh. so they can come up, but they can't get out. Uh -huh. However, you yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say like, what about the like? Okay, now on all of this <laughs> spot, the big, the large animal climbing frame. Guess what? We're gonna need to move those rocks. Uh huh. Uh, let's move them over here, and then. Oh, like, good. So now they'll jump up to the viewing area. Where all the hey, people are. Hey, that's gonna make it interactive. That's true. All right, I think we've almost fixed it because I just think, oh, like, here, we're just going to casually scooch that over. Uh -huh. I think we could put the lemurs in here, and I think we can even put the water bison, water buffalo in here. And the water buffalo is a new animal. Would they like the lemurs, though? I mean, they don't eat them. But I mean, would they hurt them? I don't think so. Here, we're going to move all these guys here. Look, I once became famous for our Planet Zoo adventures in our original Zoodesia Zoo by putting on on the the panda in oh, with a bunch of flamingos. I think I remember this. Yes. And I receive distressed comments to this day about that. I makes sense. That <laughs> but, makes sense. I mean, flamingos live in China. I mean, yeah, in the same <laughs> way that like 
I, I, I don't even know how to respond to that comment. <laughs> flamingos, 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 right? flamingos are like, they're a destination animal in themselves. Like, they, they, they're like, um, how do I put this? It's like, flamingos don't need anything extra to be amazing. They are amazing. Like, a, gr a flock of flamingos is always cool to see. I'm pretty sure... Wait, where's... Did I spell flamingo? You just didn't click on oh, it. Oh, it's hiding up there. I'm pretty sure if I look at its natural... Ha see? Like, you get a little... Okay, maybe it needs to stretch a bit further. But I have, uh -huh. I have checked this. All right. Look, I know I read... They must have patched it out. I, yeah. Yeah, I mean, <clears> I'm <throat> sure that's what happened. No, right? I'm positive they lived in China, too. Because <laughs> they I'm were sure the ones that live in Florida over here. I'm sure there is a flamingo wait, in China. Wait, wait, of course. How, what fool am I? I don't mean the greater flamingo. Ah, naturally. I, I mean a different variant of flamingo. That Which I, one? I, well, you know, there's a lot of wonderful variants of flamingo. Have you ever heard of the Chilean flamingo? That is not in China. That is in Chile. But <laughs> We're actually getting further away now. <laughs> All right. Well, then we've got our lemurs. Our lemurs are now here. They need some food and toy enrichment. And this will be fun because people will come up here. Mm -hmm. So let's actually check out our lemurs. Do you do you remember where the lemurs are from, my love? Uh, Madagascar. Excellent. Like specifically... The mountains. This part of Madagascar. Is that the mountainous part of Madagascar? I don't know. Let's I believe it out. is. Uh, the black and white ruffed lemur is a species of primate native to eastern rainforest of Madagascar. As the name implies, its coat is made up of distinct black and white patches. The underside, head, paws, and tail are black, white limbs, back, and distinctive ruff are white. This is like when we go to an art museum. That's right. And it describes what you're looking at. It's like, like, great, yes, I see okay, that. Okay, yes, it is. It, yes, it's black and white. This is wonderful. But I want to know, like, a little bit more. We don't have any donation boxes, darling. Oh, no. What are we doing? Oh, yeah. How are people going to fund the otter's playtime facilities? Oh, look, look at this. You know, I'm with you, guests. I'm with you, guests. <laughs> All right, let's try $12 and $6. We're actually doing pretty well with this. I'm very happy. All right, let's get some donation bins in, too. And then how about we see if that poor little water bison can come and join us? And why don't we get one exhibit animal in? for our, our first day of caring for the zoo. Because mm. it's been... It's oh, been wow. A, oh, wow. <gasps> yes! This I love a... all of you! Keeper talk. Put a keeper talk right oh, there. Oh, smart darling. Okay. Oh, I, I, okay, all of you love me. I love you. We all love the crane. We love your money. We love Put your money. Put them in this bucket. <laughs> like, add it in. I think we should probably make another path. How about... <sighs> no, I'm keeping the water. You can't you can't make me get rid of this water. It's too It's hard. really it's really it's really pretty. And then we'll just make a weird one day we'll fix this. Those fix, are... it looks great. Thank you. You know what? This is the kind of positive affirmation I need my, when I'm building these things. My my feeling is that if you went to a zoo, most people aren't gonna say, Oh, why'd they design it like this? They're just gonna see the way it's built and be like, Oh, of course there's a reason it looks like that. Alright, what should we name our educator? Mm. He looks really cool. We'll name um, him... Bird Guy? Bird Guy. Bird, bird Guy uh, Brandon. Bird Guy Brandon. And he's going to come over and we're going to assign him to doing a keeper talk over here. That's a good idea. I hope... Yeah, I was hoping... That, oh, look, people! Perfect. <laughs> like, okay, they can use this path to like get around the cranes. No, they're doing exactly what I would do. Getting out the camp. Look at her. She's getting some like pictures of our cranes. People love them. I am so tickled that they love them so much. Uh, and then let me go ahead and put in, let's see, facilities. We're going for education. Mm -hmm. So here's the animal talk point. We're gonna put it smack dab over here. Oh, that just scared that lady like out of here. That's fine, whoops. And we're gonna have them do talks about the red crowned crane. It's a good idea. There we go. And then let's see. We'll do the talk in May, because it's going to take that long for our new... Crowd. Like, the crowd to kind of clear up, and also our educator. We're going to give them a new work zone. It's going to be this spot. Oh, we probably should... Oh, wait, serious injury discovered. Oh, no! Oh, what happened? Okay. Cranes and uh, tiny... Tor How do you spell tortoises? 
Like that? That'll be close enough. Nobody's well, gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. We'll fix it in post. Nobody knows how to spell that uh, word. Oh no! <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just breaking space time. Oh no. Also known as a, uh, a Monday for an otter. We have been playing too much Outer Wilds, darling. All right, and meanwhile, this I think this uh, black and white rough lemur arrived injured, mm. but it'll be taken care of. And meanwhile... I can't believe it. I can't believe they just oh, jumped man. right out of the exhibit. Man. How, who could have seen this coming? Come on, look, she's going back in. <laughs> okay, do I need to just make it taller? Hey, 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 calm down there, Missy. Where are you going? That's, That's right. just going to make it more fun for when they get up there. Oh my gosh, you're, you're right. All right, so then the last thing uh, maybe to do, I said Let's finish the challenge. This. Well, we do need to finish the challenge. It's it's going to be quite a bit. Oh, look at these little guys. So these guys are feeling kind of stressed because there's so many people. Mm. Um, so one of the things we can actually do to try to make that a little bit better is if we come on in and we put in some security and we tell people to like, be quiet. Mm. Or we could just raise the prices to like thirty dollars to get in. <laughs> That'll get rid of the people really quick. <laughs> it does get rid of the people really quickly, to be honest. But you can put down these "Do Not Disturb" signs, oh. like "Shh, chill," and it makes the guest quieter. And sometimes that helps the animals. Oh, I like that. Uh, alternatively, I, do we have a mechanic hired yet? We do. We have one mechanic who's highly overworked. Hiring more people is always a little bit of a risk. So let's actually train this mechanic to get a bit better. Why like, is it a risk? To get good. Because money. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, we're making, um, we got it. We got, we're, we're running a profit right now. We right? are running a profit. So you know what? Let's hire another mechanic. And I'd say with all these people, we can afford it. Then we'll put in a mechanic workstation, unless there is already one. Let's see, staff room. No, there's just one little staff room. Um, There's just a bunch of people running around. This place was pretty much abandoned, darling. Didn't I would say really... it was abandoned, yeah, we don't not have just a pretty much. All right, so then, what is this? Is this where our employees go? Oh, that's our surgery. It's oh, our wow. vet surgery. Wow. I feel like I've had actual human surgery in a place that's less nice than that. <laughs> I know. That's the way it should be. By the way, do you remember when we went to the vet place yep. um, in yeah San Diego? Look at this. Uh, Do you remember how they had the different sizes for everything from little birds or hedgehogs up to the elephants? Although I gotta say, they've got an elephant diagram on there. That room is not quite big enough. No, and they mentioned how like with the big guys who had horns like this, uh, or the giraffes or the elephants, you don't take them to the place, you go to them. Because it's just too much of a risk. It was really interesting when they mentioned like, some of the, like, the water buffalo and things. Not only was it a weight thing, they couldn't get the horns through the doors. Yep. <laughs> so yep. you would have to have the mobile group go and take care of them. And then this, you recognize this with the detachable parts. So D Depending on the animal you're bringing in. Yeah, that's just so cool. I really like that. That's that's always a fun little thing. Oh, I've never noticed this little alley. Oh, no. Oh, hang in there, buddy. So let's check in here. We also have... What is this? Oh, it's a research facility. So we have a research facility. Then we have the trade center. And we have one keeper hut. So we already had a keeper hut. So then we don't really need this one out here. But I like the fact that it's closer to the animals. I do too. So let's actually remove this keeper hut and we'll put a mechanic research facility in Perfect. here. Perfect. Okay, so let's see. Can I remove this keeper hut? Um, let's see, keeper hut, yeah. Mm -hmm. I cannot remove this keeper hut. Nope. It is, I guess, required by law to be here. Can you build stuff like that? Um... I can. Okay. Is that new? Or have we always been able to do you that? You can always do that one wall at a time. I see. <laughs> I am not very good at that part. <laughs> so I think we'll remove this keeper hut since we already have one. Mechanic hut. And then we'll remove the little sign. And we'll just put a mechanic in there. Perfect. And then we'll start doing research because what we can do to help our little um, stressed out Galapagos tortoises mm -hmm. is we can research one-way glass, which I think is always a great option yeah definitely all right workshop there we go and then give me just a second this is always tricky oh 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 
You know what weirdly reminds me of like a gingerbread house right now? Oh yeah, it does kind of look like a gingerbread house. And then, aha. Perfect. Boom. Excellent. You never know. You just don't come here for the animal food anymore. <laughs> uh, all right. And then what you do is you come over to mechanic research. And now we can go ahead and we'll have Dora. I kind of want to rename her to Dora the Explorer. Just a bit, darling. <laughs> what? No, no, it's fine. That's fine. <laughs> we'll send Dora, let, let, let's send Miss Explorer over here. <laughs> to work on that. And then actually one-way gloss is the next thing. So that's going to majorly help those animals out. Uh, also, let's check out Zoo. Oh, dear. Oh, boy. <gasps> the Nile Leech. Well, we, we looked up how to say a le leech, le leech way. Le leech way. Leech way. Oh, <gasps> darling Diego, the capybara. Oh, oh my word. Diego. Where are we going to stick them? You know what? I think that our cranes and our Galapagos tortoise and our capybara and our lechwe could all get along. So why don't we just connect this and make like a Giganto Mondo habitat? Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to make mean, a big habitat. The lemurs, lemurs were escaping anyways. Just yeah. And then maybe we can even do like a big, um, we could branch off over here mm -hmm. and have another like loop where people can come and see uh, the animals over uh, here. I like that. There we go. So you got a big, like dream big dreams. You got to think big. Got to think big. All right. Well, if you want to think real big, you can have that be like a walkthrough exhibit where people just walk right in. <laughs> you Is know, too I, big? I think that um, the guests will scream and run away if we let them walk with the cranes as as absolutely of a travesty as I think that is. People are afraid of big birds. They are. You know what? And I don't want to like, I don't want to make anybody who's scared of birds feel bad about being scared of birds. Because uh, to some degree, people argue that it is actually an evolutionary trait. Right. Since apparently monkeys used to get, like us as like very long time ago monkeys, used to get eaten. <gasps> Look, our cranes are mating! Oh, I want to Are they dancing? dancing? Yeah, I was about to say. No, yeah, no, like no. why are we over here doing a thing? No, ah, ah, oh, no. gosh. Oh, no, did I miss it? You missed it. Oh, they look like they just finished their dance and everything. But we're going to have babies. Oh, that's very exciting. Okay, next time that pops up, we're going to go see what's up.